Right. So the previous session we discussed uh, different type of uh, variables and we discussed uh, on, uh, conditions like how it will going to work, if condition, if else statements, and the else if statement, and the case statement. As well as we discussed how to use operators and uh, as well as how to use uh, conditional conditional operators and as well as logical operators. So those are the concepts we have seen in previous session. So let's continue for this uh, session. So here we can see loop concepts. Why we need the loops? Any idea why we need the loops? Whenever you have more than one record to fetch the data, okay? So it's a general terminology. When you have more than one record to fetch the data, so at the time loop concepts it will come. There may be a situation when you need to execute a block of code on several number of times. So, so far as of now, how many times we are executed our code? Only one time you are executed. Only one time you are executed. So now, now the situation is changed. Now I want to display all the records. So I, I want to display all the records means you want to execute same code in multiple times. Record by record you want to execute. So you will going to introduce loops concept. You can going to use the loops concept. And automatically the loop will going to repeated i mean it will going to execute uh, record by record it is going to continuously it going to execute so we have a condition when until the condition is true the loop is going to repeat it always once the condition is false it is going to exit from the loop so it's very very interesting concept we will going to see different different type of examples today so you people going to feel it uh, it's really interesting concept let's start it now so basic loop. So basic loop is just starts with the loop and with end loop. So what is the drawback on this? So here it is simply it will going to use the loop and end loop statement. But basic loop is mandatory to exit condition. So while when we are going to using loop concept, simply loop and loop must and should exit statement is needed in inside of the loop okay if that is not there it will went to where what will happen if you are not going to keep exit condition what will happen continuous loop infinite loop it will went infinite loop okay called as a infinite loop Okay, if you enter to infinite loop, what will happen? System will going to hang. Understand? Be careful yes, when we are using basic loop, must and should to take into the some exit statement. I mean, I'm not saying that exit statement, saying that the some condition inside. The condition should have to false sometime during the execution time. Let's see. And we have while loop also. So while loop is going to retrace that, uh, repeat the statement of a group of statements until given condition is true. So while statement, uh, until the statement is true, it is going to continuously repeating. Once the condition is false, it will going to exiting that uh, loop body, for loop. For loop is going to, it's a sequence of statements, so multiple times it is going to executing continuously. For loop also, it will work like a loop, but you no need to put any exit condition. For loop itself, it will going to take, uh, for loop is always accepting that uh, inner bound, outer bound range of values. Okay, if it is range of values, then once the range is over, automatically it will going to terminate the loop. Next loop means a loop within the loop. Per loop within the loop, we can going to use it. Now let's see. Here we can going to see simple, simple statements now. Okay. So I will going to ask three questions now. So try to answer those things. So we people going to understand looping concept. 
how that looping concept is important. Right, so now basic loop, loop. So if you start loop means immediately, what you need to do? End loop. End loop. Yeah, so inside what we will going to do? You can write it n number of statements. Understand, whatever the statements you want, you can write it n number of statements. Yes, sir. Now suppose the dbms output output underscore line, some message i printed what will happen it is continuously going to loop is going to repeat it infinite loop it will going to happen begin means immediately you need to end up That's so right. if you use the begin and end means it should be exception if it is exception mandatory exception command is when others than when others than understand so now you can go into now this is a basic loop uh, statement syntax semicolon this somewhere a, so this is a basic uh, loop syntax understand now how do you now just i want to print uh, some 10 numbers how do i will going to print 1 to 10 numbers 1 okay so two three four five i want to print this data what is the logic you people going to use it now by using condition sir okay what condition you want right tell me mm, sir, so sir. simple thing is you will going to write it begin and end up okay that is there anyhow okay next to yes sir loop sir inside okay loop. you are going to write a loop inside loop and loop okay that's also done next to in in loop write a condition sir okay what condition you want to put if condition yes, sir. okay if condition means and if okay perfectly fine uh, how do you going to write condition a less than or equal to 5? Yes, sir. Uh, then no. Hmm, then no. Hmm. Now you want to write the DBMS statement? Yes, sir. DBMS underscore output dot. Put line. Dot put underscore line. Okay. Okay, now it's a number. Ah, what I want to print now? A, right? A is a variable, right? A is a variable, uh, sir. Ah, now you have to declare. But we are not mentioned. Hmm, not mentioned. A is a number. Yes, sir. That's all. Hmm. And initialize with one, sir. What initialize it with one? They are starting you want with one number? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, perfect. So starting with one. Okay, perfectly yes. fine. Hmm. Is it done? If I execute, what will happen? It went to infinite loop now. So I stopped it. See, even after stopping also, still it's loading. Sure. Why it went to infinite, tell me. See, now I need to terminate this. So otherwise it will not going to work. So it went to hang. So, so, into infinite loop. 
we are giving a equal to one but uh, it is it not uh, increments uh, always it is one and uh, loop is continuously executing sir. okay how do you going to overcome now let's one second so you should have to increment the value x equal to x assignment equal to x plus 10 what will happen now the loop is going to start working on now initially 10 is printed after 10 plus 10 x equal to assignment equal to x plus 10 so that means 20 greater than 50 condition is true whenever the condition is true then it is coming out of that if condition yes sir no so what is the output will come tell me now here first what will print then will print right uh, next it went to inside loop yes it is printed x 10 is printed one again 10 plus 10 20 now x is 20 then what it is doing now x value is 20 after that what will happen if, if it is true true or false now 20 greater than 50 20 greater than false 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 means what will happen again if it is again, false means did it, one second if it is yes. false means did it enter into inside of the if condition no sir no so that means again it is 20 is printed again 20 plus 10 30 30 is greater it? than 50 false. condition is condition is false again so now tell me what is the output will come 20 uh, 30 okay 40 okay 50 50 that's all yes sir. 60 will not print 60 sir 60 also 50 60 yes, sir. 60 is true sir okay perfect so hope all of you understand now yes okay. sir 10 to 50 after exit is going to 60 after exiting 60 will print now this loop statement you can going to use it for your case anywhere but whenever you are using inside of the loop your condition should be there with exit statement keep on mind that is okay you can going to use it in different different scenarios in different ways but always always the exit statement is very very important now see this exit when condition also you can going to use it directly so here here example is there right you can going to do it in the similar case of example uh, exit when condition you can use exit when condition you can use it there exit is there right directly this use this exit statement into the when condition itself exit so you can going to write it this directly when got it directly you can going to use like that way so exit when this if condition you no need now so exit condition directly can going to use exit when condition so it will go in automatically and the condition is the true automatically it will going to print so this is the one so both yes. things is going to give output only exit when condition is false when this condition is false automatically it will going to exit the loop if you want to see what is the encountered symbol and exit a semicolon is required okay done see both are working in the similar way so exit 
when condition you can going to use it your statement this is very very important concept keep on mind it is okay now let's move on to the next example while loop while loop also until the condition is the true then it is going to execute it understand so now what is the difference between loop and while loop loop will execute first and then if it is false then it will exit print the output and it will going to exit but while loop is if the condition is false it will not come into inside itself understand so what is the output will come now while loop what is the output will come now 10 10 10 next only 10 after 10 calls, it will not go to next condition. What is the what? What is the output will come in this statement? 10, sir. 10, sir. Okay. 10 plus 11, sir. Okay. 10, 11. 12. 12 until? Until. Until 19, okay. 19, sir. 19, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, then 20. Right. So, got it right. Once 19, 20 is coming, condition is failed and it will out of the loop condition. So, yes, while condition, don't use it while condition in your day to day activities. Okay. So in your day-to-day -day activities, uh, don't use while condition. So let's move on to that next for loop statement. For loop is really is very very interesting concept. So we're going to see that uh, for loop. Okay, for for uh, this is going to rec variable variable in it should be going to lawyer bound lawyer bound dot dot upper bound upper bound then loop and loop okay so this is going to happening now what is the rec variable rec variable is a, it is going to storing the values storing the values into that rec variable so it is index variable rec variable is called as index variable i can call it as index variable uh, let's see i index i index some index variable so now for i in one space dot dot space 10 loop and loop so this is the one now how for loop is going to checking first for loop what is the lower bound one what is the upper bound 10 what is the range is 1 to 10 the for loop is going to checking the for loop is first checking into this variable one and it is moving into index variable of one index of one so now you can try to display your value i what is the variable i is there you can go into use of i variable now what you can do value of i i one is going to print it and again loop is going to start it next index variable two three four five like that it will going to take it up complete one to ten it will going to print index variables it will come and now so this is the looping concept whatever the loop you can going to use it you can use it as your wish if you are going to putting one to ten or one to hundred or one two thousand or instead of using 1 and uh, 10, you can going to use it your counter variables as well. So going forward, you will going to see different type of examples. Now let's see how to write a loop within the loop. 
called as a nested loop loop so once i started loop means end loop so if i started end loop means immediately you can going to write one more loop also loop end loop yes, understand sir. so now what i want to do suppose uh, let me take a different uh, uh, it's very interesting let's see what is the output will come until loop within the loop so i did two loops now okay what is what loops it is for loop right so i will going to write a for loops not this one so for for loop i write i in one space dot dot space 10 okay loop so i started loop means immediately and loop done and loop done so if i am going to writing one more loop for uh, j in one space dot dot 10 okay i started a loop okay if i started a loop means you need to end the loop end, loop, end the loop okay so next what I will try to display, I will going to try to display DBMS statement. DBMS output output dot put, put underscore line. Ah, what I want to display here? I want to display I I. Okay. I want to display I. Ah, I concatenation of okay i into i and j j also i'm going to display here uh, i'm going to put in concatenation ij i'm putting in single quotes of uh, star not into star here you can going to keep the star here i can get national up is single quote star i and j okay fine so now what i will going to do i into equal condition one more concatenation single quotes i will going to use equal to now i into j what will happen now tell me i don't know so something it is going to happen now right so simply i'm going to put in begin and end and then if i execute what will happen now okay, it's completely completed what is this one see tell me what happened. 10 tables are printed, sir. From one, one table. into one equal to one, one equal to two into one equal to two now. Yes, sir. Is it correct? No, right. Can you correct it? Say table, can you correct it now? What I need to correct it here? Change the positions of I and J, sir. Ah, right. So here it is. J is the first one. Okay. So, and I followed by I. Right. So let's clear it and see. Now you can see, see how it is printed. Tables are printed. Now, now anyone, one person can going to help me how this is going to execute it. Yes, sir. Hmm. First of all, what first of all? First of all. First of all, condition uh, control enters the for loop, sir. In okay. for j in one means one value is loaded into the j, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, sir. One in the loaded j, j initially j value is one. Mm. Oh yes, sir. Initially j value is one, sir. Okay. One oh, one is in between the one and ten, sir. Mm -hmm. So control enter to the next second loop, sir. Mm -hmm. 
um, in this loop check we check the i uh, i value sir first of all i value is one here sir mm -hmm. so uh, here j value is one and uh, i value is one sir mm. so dm and dbms underscore output put mm. underscore line the statement mm. is used to print the one into one equal to one sir mm. here j equal to one and uh, as the uh, star symbol is printed next uh, i equal to one printed next equal to mm. symbol is printed next one into one uh, this is uh, used as arithmetic operator one into one mm. equal to one and it is printed mm. first uh, now first is, loop how many times is repeated second loop how many times is uh, loop repeated i mean first loop is executed how many times second loop is executed how many times Second loop executed hundred times, sir. Okay. First loop executed ten times, sir. Okay, perfect. Yes, so I hope all of you clear now. Right. Sir. So now yes, I will go to give some assignment today. One 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 one. Two 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 two. So how do you going to print this now? And three 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 three. Ah, uh, tell me now. How to how to do the coding? Tell me. Can you tell me? Hello, sir. I want to display the above output. Yes, sir. First store the value of five one, sir. Okay. Yes. So who is telling it? We are using the looping formation, sir. Okay, so which loop we want to start? You want to start your for loop? Okay, loop i uh, in mm -hmm. what is the variable range? Uh, what is the answer. variable range? Now, in this example, what is i, what is j? All of you, tell me what is j, what is i here? See, you have table, right? Like a table, right? What is a column? What is a row? It's, a, it's going to, it's called as a row. Okay. Yes, in the down, it is one to three is column. Okay. What is I? What is a J? I is row and J is column. J column. Okay. I is a? Uh, what is that? I is a row. I is a row or column? Row. Row. Okay. I is row. Rose. Okay, no, you, you feel it. I, I is row. Ah, J is column. 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 So J is column. Okay. Now I means row, right? I means one. Always one. How many times you want to one is needed? I, I is increment. I is incremented to five times. You are going to bring. Why you want to do five times? I is only three times. Yes, sir. I is one. I is two. I is three. That's all right. Okay. Ah, J is column. Ah, J is what you want to do. How many times I want to uh, repeat? How many times J want to repeat? Tell me in this example. How many times? I, how many times I want to increment? I I will going to repeat. And uh, how many times J will going to iterate? Three times, sir. Huh? Sorry? I three times, J five times, sir. Yes, exactly. I three times, J five times. J, J is five times. Uh, now tell me in this example, I want to, want to, three, right, one, two, three, for okay. loop, okay, uh, next, for, 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 for J, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, five, 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 five. five. Mm. loop, Okay, and loop. Uh, what do you want to print now? DBMS. 
Which one you want to print out? Output. Yeah. I want to print or J you want to print? I sir. I. Okay, done. Okay, now dbms output output underscore line. So what it is saying must be declared. Must be declared. What you need to declare must be. In begin section. What begin section you want to declare? Identifier dbms underscore output output underscore line must be declared. dbms underscore output output underscore line. Output law out. Ah, right. Spelling mistake. Okay. Output. Okay. Now. Okay. Hmm? Sir, place the output dot uh, place eleventh line in between the two loops, sir. Good. So where you got this one now? Into patterns hmm. in Yes, sir. So, right. So, this is the one I'm going to expect. Okay, so one more example. Star, star, single star, 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 three stars. Four stars. Uh, how do it will come now? Tell me. How the output will come now? Conditions. So I will give some assignments. So all of you do that. Okay. So let's move on to the next concept. So assignment concepts is. Let me show you. So star star double triple star five stars until now next is five stars. Okay. And star 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 and star star and two stars and single star. Okay. And next one is five stars. Next is five stars. Five stars. So five stars, five stars this is the output you can try. Okay, next is equal to one, 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 two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Like this, you can try. Okay, one, two, two, three, three. And four, four, and five, five, five. So this output you can try. Okay. So these are examples you can try using loops concepts. So let's move on to the next one. So everything I copied and I all I am going to putting into the folder. So try to practice all of you in this example so you people no need to worry more so already you people done so work that one only who created this no one right so i'm putting here so all of you take it from here and do it your work 
so let's move on to next uh, concept loops is over right so we're going to talk to so all of you clear right any doubts on loops so loops concepts is over then uh, we're going to start exceptions next so these are all things we have done uh, let's see next uh, peer see as of now we are seeing declaring constants pls collaterals operate operators arithmetic operators okay relational operators comparison operators like between inno null logical operators these all things we done okay and uh, we we done that uh, this uh, flow diagram and syntax is of if conditions and loops as well okay loops concepts is over and then now reverse loop so reverse loop is nothing but just simply we're going to put reverse keyword that's all see suppose what you will going to do you will going to do 1 to 10 you want to print how do you going to do 1 to 10 i want to print simply begin begin and that's all okay for loop i in one dot dot once with that that 10 that's all loop 10 and loop yeah so you can going to do it here you going to do dbms underscore output dot put underscore line so what we'll going to print i so i so what will happen it will print the one to ten numbers now if you want ten to one how we will going to display ten to one so now one to ten it is printed now if you want to ten to one you can use reverse keyword after in condition you can write a reverse keyword there it is reverse reverse understand so now you can go and see to see 10 to 1 see 10 9 8 7 1 it is going to print the reverse that's all it's nothing is beyond that simply reverse you can use that's all let's move on to next next loop conditions already we done okay so now this is uh, prime numbers prime number is nothing but what is that prime number is divided by any prime number is uh, what is that it is divided by one and itself right so uh, try to practice this example how to calculate uh, print the prime numbers prime number is first the what is the condition it is if it is divided by one and as well as it is divided by itself yes, the remainder should have to come zero yes sir yes sir no yes sir if the remainder is coming zero means it's not a prime number right yes sir See, suppose what are the prime numbers? Okay. Three, two, five. Three, five, seven. Okay. Eleven, thirteen, seventeen, twenty-three. These are the prime numbers. So the prime number is that uh, it should not be a remainder zero, and it should be divided by one and itself. Yes. Call called as a prime number so how we are going to doing in this example so first what we are doing so you need to take two variables i and j so when the prime number is going to starting it's going to starting by two prime number is going to starting by two okay one one is not a prime number yes sir one is a odd number right so sure. now it is going to start by two now whenever you are going to calculating mod mode means modular 
j of i so if it is going to 2 comma 2 0 okay and i equal to j i is a 2 j is a 2 condition is the true it is a true means what will happen it exit the loop it exit the loop and then it is jump into next if condition in the next if condition i value is 2 j value is 2 it's a prime number understand so 2 is a prime number then next is uh, what is the i value i value is incremented by 1 so that means 2 plus 1 3 now 3 is equal to 50 no condition fail condition fail means let me show it this is very very interesting concept okay so try to understand how this looping is going to happen so you people understand how this iteration is happening so you people can able to do it uh, your coding style let's show you that now see in this example what we are going to doing how we want to print 2 to 50 prime numbers what is the question for a to display to print the below 50 prime numbers to print below 50 prime numbers okay 50 prime numbers uh, what do you mean by first prime number is nothing but prime number is uh, it is divided by one and yeah. itself one and itself one second let me divided by oh, one and itself how it is divided by one and one and itself Right. So now, what is I value? What is J value? I value is 2. J value is 2. Uh, what will happen? If it is coming inside of the loop, and now it is going to checking, I value is 2. Mode of I comma J, 2 comma 2. What, what is the output will come? Modular. 2 comma 2, 0, right? Yes, zero yes, equal to right zero and uh, i equal to j equal to two i equal to one condition is true so both the conditions are true right so so condition is true means it is going to exit that loop this loop what is the first loop we have right it is going to exit that first loop this loop is exited now it is coming down and is checking j is equal to i 2 equal to 2, 2 is printed, 2 is a prime. And now I value is incremented to 3. Now I equal to 50. So I means 3, 3 equal to 50. Condition is failed. So condition failed means it is going to out of condition. It is out of the loop condition. So now out of the loop condition, where it is going to control goes? Now tell me once this loop is exit, where control goes? I equal to two, sir. All oh, right. It will go to I here, line number five. Ah, oh, what is the I value now? What is the I value now? I equal to three, sir. Now. Oh, I equal to three. Right. J value is two. Two, sir. I value is three. J value is two. Now. <laughs> Mode of i comma three. That means three i comma j, right? Two. Three comma two. Three comma two. Is it coming uh, zero? No, right? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, is condition it condition is it true? Three equal to two. No, sir. Condition is condition is False. not true. 
so false that means it's moving into j now j value is J value is three. Now again it will to top. Now uh, it will going to checking the condition three comma three mode of three comma three and three comma three. So condition is true. So it is jumping from the loop. I value three, J value three. Now three is printed. Three is a prime number. Now I value is incremented to four. Understand? Now I value is incremented to four. Four equal to fifty. Condition is false. False means I equal to. Uh, false three. means it's going to jump the loop or within the loop. Jump. Yeah, out of the loop, sir. See, I value is now four, sir. Four is equal to fifty. Condition is true or false? False. False means false. False. condition false. will going to exit. Yes, sir. Condition is going to exit or not? Tell me that. Not sir. No. So then it will jump to top. Now I value is four. I value is four. J value is two. Three. Three. Sir. J value two always again. No two sir. Okay. Two sir. Here you are initialized two right? Yes sir. Okay. okay. Now J value is two, I value is four. Mode of mode of four comma two zero condition, right? True. Okay, true means it will true means it's exit the condition. And understand? True means it's exit the condition. It is coming and checking here. J value is two, I value is four. This condition is four failed. Condition failed, right? Four equal to two. Ah, so condition failed means what will happen now? J value is increment. I value is incremented again. I is five now. I is five. Five equal to fifty. Condition is false. So the, again, it will go to top. J value two. I value five. Ah, five comma two. Five comma two condition is true. Condition false. 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 Now J value is three. Three comma five. Five comma three condition is true or false? False. Now J value false. is incremented four. Five comma four. Five comma four means condition is false. Condition false. Now again J value is five. Okay, five comma five. Condition is true. True means true means it's the jump of the loop. Now, what is the J value and high value? Both are five. Five comma five. Five is printed. Now I value is six. Yes, okay. sir. J value is two. Ah, two. Six comma two. Condition is condition four, sir. Two, sir. Six comma two, two. 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 Oh, sir. Ah, true, true means it's jumping out of here. Ah, two comma six so in if condition two comma six. Condition true or false? False. True. False. False. Two comma six so false. So now I value is incremented seven. Yes, sir. Hope you people understand. Now anyone else uh, explain me? Yes, sir. I will explain, sir. Okay, go ahead, please. First of all, we initialized i equal to two, sir. Next, you, you, can, you can go ahead. Uh, uh, if it is something went wrong, I will interfere. No, uh, next in, inside the loop j equal to two, sir. In second mm -hmm. loop, in second loop exit when mod of i comma j equal to zero or j equal to. We are checking the both the conditions, sir. If any one of the mm -hmm. condition is true, loop exits. Sir. Control exit out of the loop. Now we have to check okay. mod of i comma mod of two comma two equal to zero. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. This condition is uh, true, sir. So control mm -hmm. exits the loop. Sir. Mm -hmm. Next uh, control control goes to if, sir. Mm -hmm. If if two equal to two, sir. Mm -hmm. 
then dbms uh, dbms underscore output dot put line uh, two mm -hmm. is prime sir two is printed here sir mm. next if is ended sir if block is mm -hmm. ended here next i value is incremented to i plus one so two plus one equal to three sir mm. exit when i equal to 50 okay. this condition uh, now i value is three equal to 50 sir Condition is wrong, mm -hmm. so, so control next uh, goes to j, uh, this place, sir, j equal to 2, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, now, j value... we... one second. J value is incremented by how many times? I value is incremented by how many times? And first loop is going to exhibit it by how many times? Second loop is going to exhibit it by how many times? Who want to help on that one? I value incremented by 49 times, sir. 48 times. Okay, 49 times. Okay, 48 times. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. J value. Okay. I hope you people are understand. Even that also, please confirm me. Is it clear or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Clear, sir. Okay, so who want to explain it? If it is clear, who want to explain? Begin, I equal to two, and J equal to two, we have two variables, I, J. Mm -hmm. I equal to two, and next loop, J equal to two, and exit when mod of I value two, and mm -hmm. J value two equal to zero. 2 equal mm -hmm. to 2 comma 2 condition is true mm. or j equal to i here j value 2 and i value 2 condition is true then mm. end the loop sir and after end next the loop condition is line number tell me line number you can tell me so Sorry, if sir. that condition is the true Loping what will condition. happen then jump into the if condition sir okay perfect uh j equal to mm. i sir here mm. j value 2 and i value 2 mm. then output dbms underscore output dot put underscore line here mm -hmm. i value 2 2 is a prime it 2 okay. is a prime will print it mm. okay and i equal to i plus 1 here i value 2 2 plus mm. 1 equal to 3 then oh conditions uh, exit when i here i mm. value is 3 3 mm. equal to 50 mm. condition is false then okay. going to the i sir i equal to 2 in here okay. i value 3 i equal to 3 sir and j value mm. 2 mm. exit when mode of i value 3 3 comma 2 condition mm. is false sir mm. or j equal to i sir Okay. Condition false, then j equal to j plus 1. Mm. Here j value 3, sir. Okay. Mm. Okay. j equal to uh, j, j plus 1, sir. Mm. Mm. Okay. 3, comma 3, sir. Mm hmm. Okay, next. If if condition or smally after finishing the condition, if j equal to i, here j value. No, no, no. What is the j value? What is the i value? I value 3, sir. Okay, what is the j value? We are incrementing j value 2, sir. Hmm. J value is incremented three, three. I value is incremented three. Both are mode is three comma three. It is a zero. Condition is true. If the condition is true, what will happen? Loop exits, sir. Okay, and it will goes to I equal to exit when I equal to fifty, sir. Why it will went to there? Okay, you are exit the loop of when it is a mode of I comma J, right? 
then it will goes to where line number 10 is condition is a true it is exit then it will goes yes, to sir. where j equal to j plus 1 sir if statement understand the line number 10 is going to condition is a true and it is exit then the control goes to where if condition sir ah right if condition ah what will happen in the if condition in the if condition 3 equal to 3 sir okay and 3 is printed ah 3 is yes. printed ah then then i equal to i plus 1 sir here i okay. value 3 3 plus 1 equal mm -hmm. equal to assigning mm -hmm. the i value in 4 sir ah uh -huh. 4 equal to 50 this mm. condition false again into the mm. top one i equal to 4 sir mm. what is the j value yes sir j value 2 sir value? okay ha huh, 2 comma 4 condition true sir hmm 2 comma 2 equal to 0 or j equal to i Condition hmm. true, then it will comes into the if condition, sir. Hmm. J equal to I. Here J value hmm. two, sir. Hmm. Condition And true. I value false. Condition true, sir. Four comma two equal to zero. I'm talking about next level. That already you are true and you are jumping out. Yes, sir. Ah. If j equal to i, sir. Mm. If ah. j value two. Hmm. And i value mm. four, sir. Okay. Then DBMS under. True or false? True or two false? To false, sir. Ah, false. Two equal to yeah. four. Mm. Jump into the i equal to i plus one, sir. Oh, exit then i no sir hmm right then can hmm. all print is not displayed sir okay hmm what is i value now i pi sir okay. 4 plus 1 okay 5 again condition will check 5 equal to okay. 50 then hmm. we'll go into the i equal to 5 sir hmm Loop J equal to two, sir. Hmm. Exit when mode of I value five comma hmm. and J value hmm. two. Five comma right. two condition false, sir. Okay. Then again check into the J equal to J plus one, sir. Here J hmm. value two, two plus one equal to three, sir. Hmm. Condition false, sir. Okay. I comma three equal to zero. Not checking if mm. J equal to I, sir. Mm. Here J value three and I value five, sir. Condition false. Okay. I equal to I plus one, sir. Here I value Why five I plus one. Now again, correct my name. J value is three. I value is four. Three comma four condition is failed. What will happen next? Again, J value incrementing, sir. Ah, uh, again J value is incremented. Now J value is four. Four. I value is four. Ah, uh, I value is four. Ah, uh, next what will happen? Condition true, sir. Okay. If J equal to I, hmm. then. Yeah, J value four. Okay. Now suppose let's go on now. Suppose I value is thirty. Okay. Now it is printed up to nine. Nine is printed prime number. Next is going to eleven is printed prime number and thirteen. I value is thirteen. Ah, uh, next tell me how iteration will going to happen. Tell me. Now I value is thirteen. So what's happening next? 
See, one to eleven it is printed. One is print, uh, two is printed, three, five, seven, eleven is printed. Now thirteen. I value is thirteen. So how it will going to loop is going to uh, uh, iteration is happening now. I equal to thirteen loop when j equal to two. Exit okay. when mode of thirteen comma two. Hmm. Condition is false. Okay. So end the loop. If j equal to two, equal hmm. i equal to thirteen. So hmm. condition is fails. Hmm. Okay. Fails then. See when you are going to exit this loop. When you are going to exit this loop, condition is true, sir. Ah, your condition is true. Then only it will going to exit. Now you said yes, oh, mode of oh, i comma j. One second, mode of i comma j, j equal to i, right? So i is thirteen, j is two. Is the condition two. is true? False, sir. False means are you going to exit? No, sir. Increment the ah. j value. Ah, what is the j value now? Two plus one, three, sir. Ah, three. Ah, next. End the loop. Hmm. If three equal to thirteen. Okay. J value is three. I value is thirteen. Hmm. Condition is false. Okay. Next. Again, moving moving into I value. Where which line? Tell me line number. Tell me. We are going to check the line number ten. Okay. And the J value is incremented four, three plus ah. one four. Uh mm huh. -hmm. End the loop. If J value is four. And I value is thirteen. The condition is false. Again, we'll moving into line number ten. Again, we'll check the condition. Mode of thirteen hmm. comma J value is four. Hmm. So condition is false. Hmm. Again, we incremented the J value. Hmm. Four plus one is five. Mm. End the loop. If five equal to thirteen, condition is false. Mm. Again, we are moving into eleven, sir. Oh. Mm. Five plus one is six. Mm. End the loop. If six mm. equal to thirteen, condition mm. is false. Mm. Again, we are moving into line number eleven. Hmm. Uh, until until where it will go? When condition is condition going to is true? When it is going to true? I value is J value is thirteen and I value is thirteen. Hmm. The condition is true. True. Uh, then, uh, then what will happen? We moving into if condition, sir. Fourteenth line. Ah, uh, fourteenth line. So yes. So that is eighteen. Thirteen, mm. thirteen equal to thirteen. Up, then we'll print the output. Mm. Ah, thirteen is the prime. Mm. Next, next what will happen? Okay. And if i value is i equal to i plus one, i is thirteen mm. plus one is fourteen, sir. Hmm. We are moving into line number five. I equal to fourteen, sir. Fourteen equal to fifty. Ah. Condition is mm. false. Hmm. So then we are moving into line number five. Again, we check mm. the condition. Five line number five, na? Why you will go for five? Line number inside of the loop, right? It will move to ten. Condition inside of the loop. Yes, sir. Hmm. Mode of fourteen. Hmm. Fourteen comma two. Hmm. Hmm. Condition is true. 
Okay. We are moving into line number 14. Hmm. End of moving into line number 14. J value hmm. is 2 and I value is 14. Hmm. So condition false. Hmm. Again, we are checking into exist uh, line number 10, sir. Hmm. I value is 14 and J value is 2. We incremented the J value. Hmm. Okay. J equal to J plus 1. I value is 14 or 15 now? 15, sir. Okay. End the loop. If J value is 2 equal to I value is 15, the condition is false. Again, we mm. are checking into J value. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me. Next. J value, I value is 15. J value is 2. Now J value is incremented 3. 15 comma 3. True or false? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. But still you are confusing. So hope, hope all of you understand this concept. Okay. So let's move on to the next. So next loops already we've done. Okay. So it's a small example. So you can people can go into practice it. So this is going to the same thing. Uh, what we used it uh, for prime numbers. So moving on to this uh, next one. Labeling. Labeling concept is it's a labeling concept means so we are going to giving the name outer loop or inner loop it is. Names uh, will going to give it a double quote and uh, double open brushes, double closed brushes. This is a uh, loops can be labeled. You can go into it. Uh, so what will happen if you want to jump from one location to another location at that time, we are going to use it labeling concept. But my recommendation is 99% don't use this concept. So if you are going to use this concept uh, during the program running, so most of conditions it will be going to uh, missing to execute it okay so just to keep on mind labeling but don't use it okay. loops control statements is exit statement continue statement and go to statement so exit is used to whenever the condition you want to loop whenever you want to stop the loop you can going to use it exit statement if the condition is true automatically it will going to exit the loop continue is going to even if the condition is fails but you want to continue, you can use the condition, continue statement. Go to statement means it will going to help to jump from 1 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 1000. From, see, suppose the control will going to execute in one, one by one, right? So whenever you are using go to statement, first it is going to execute it first 1 to 50 lines. In the 15th line, you are using go to statement. Go to up 10. Thousandth line, so automatically it is going to skipping, bypassing that all the statements, and it is moving into thousands line. Recommendation is don't use go to statement. So use exit and continue statements only. Understand? So here you can see this. Uh, if the condition is uh, true, then it is going to exit. In the same, in the same, now you can going to use it continue also. It's very simple. So if you whenever a condition you want to jump, so you can going to jump it. So let, let's see. It's very simple one. What is the output will come now? Anyone tell me? What is the A value? 10. 10, 10 will go. 10 is printed, 11 is printed, 12 is printed, 13, 14, 15 is printed. 16, 
when our 16 is coming what will happen condition is approved 16 15 it will come inside and it is going to terminate the loop so 1 to 15 now let's see suppose in the same example you can going to use continue also even condition is failed you want to continue the statement you can going to use that continue instead of exit you can going to use continue continue statements so now let's see go and do okay now you can see 1 10 to 15 is printed right the second one continue one is 10 to 19 is printed how 10 to 19 is printed because there's 16 condition is true continue that means loop is continuing Continue. until until while condition fails it is going to continue understand so that is the, the use of continue even now, so in the real time cases so you people are going to uh, doing some insert statements are going to inserting data until uh, your uh, statement fails but still you will going to uh, continue the uh, execution process using the continue keyword uh, go to statement strongly recommended don't use it so this is only for uh, go to statement is jumping from that one position to another position where you are using that jumping position automatically it will going to jump it okay let's uh, continue statements already we are seeing the condition is uh, true also it will not going to exit the loop and it will going to continue and now go to statement so this is very dangerous one so don't use this one first of all unconditionally jumping from one position to another position understand suppose if you have 100 lines you are going to using go to statement in line number 30 what you are saying please jump from 30 to 100 so automatically it is bypassing from first to 31 to 99 lines it is jumping so whatever you are you are doing code so nothing will going to execute on that See now, statement one is executed. You said go to that label three. Label three means immediately it is jumping from statement three. So you can see here, suppose loop starts while it is going to be executing and here go to loop starts again. So once here we are using end. So it is once coming to in this position, we are saying to go to again, control goes to starting. So internally like that it's going to working. So go to statement. We have lots of uh, restrictions. So just gone through this information and uh, don't use it most of the cases. String functions. So we'll discuss on uh, next session string functions. Fine. Okay, sir. Okay.